Are you alright, old girl? So, she's been bullied by the black leghorn who's in that pen at the minute. Oh, she's also a bully as well, look. You see how they've been pecking feathers out the necks? So the black leghorn is in quarantine until they learn to behave. But these two are bullies as well. But the chicks are coming on nicely, aren't they? Aren't they just? Definitely a cockerel. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to Harrison's Brewery. Today is the 12th of April, where the UK enters into its first stage of reopening for 2021. Fucking let's hope it's the last time we have to endure a lockdown like that. So, good luck to everybody I know in the industry is opening today. We're opening on Wednesday because we're not going to be opening Mondays and Tuesdays until May when we can open our restaurant. So we're going to wait a little while, but we are all raring to go. And it looks like we've probably achieved all we wanted to achieve in terms of improvements for the brewery. Just in the nick of time, I think. Got a few little bits and bots to do in here. Like just tidying the floor up a touch. Give it a sweep and a clean. And then over the coming months, we'll fill the little gaps and crevices in the resin and what have you. I need to... Um, what's the proper term? Uh, retrofit the cold rooms and get them up and running again. Because uh, I've, I've changed out the heating... Uh, the cooling fan cabling so we're making improvements on that the floor which i'm absolutely over the moon with is now as hard as a coffin nail well there's another one of them examples that we need to get filled in so i'm happy to start moving things around on here in such as the pallet truck one thing i did want to do this week to protect the floor is change the wheels on the pallet truck because we've got a tire missing. Oh, a bit of tire missing there. So I'm going to see if I can get some of these wheels on eBay and we'll swap them out. Sir Clip. Need to measure the ID, the OD. I think the front wheels are fine, but we'll get her up on the bench and have a little look, see poo, and all this stuff needs putting back into position. We've got a little drip on the floor here. That looks like it's come from that tank. It's when I changed the glycol pipes the other day. So the glycol doesn't evaporate, of course, like the water would. And it's been rather cold. Anywho, push everything back in here. Doesn't it look better, though, with a nice uniform colour throughout the brewery? I think it really does. Look at the sun glinting on the camera lens, because today... It, as always, is sunny in Retford. Look at the flicker. That's from these lights. We don't usually get that. So I'm going to get set up for a long shift today of getting things put right and ready to rock and roll because we are going to start brewing as of next week and we're going to fill all these tanks up and we're going to get back into full production again. It's going to be fun. It's what we need to be doing. This isn't the first time I've done this, boys and girls, but I started a video. Got my bench shaft, sailor. Started a video this morning at nine o'clock, and it's got to, uh, that's half past five, I still haven't put that clock forward. <laughs> and uh, I've done no video vlogging whatsoever. So we've been busy tidying up, not that you'd think we have done in here. We did a little bit in here. Let's have a quick walk through the brewery so you can really see what the crack is. We've got our little carbonating setup back up and running again. I've just slung a new CO2 cable for that because the old feed for where the fermenters were on the left is now gone. Uh, we've put the rollers back after we've painted the floor. I had to put some steel bars on here so we can get the fork truck or the pump truck underneath to move it. 
We've got all the grating in on the floor as well and all the kit back into position. And I thought I'd just put that Nottingham Pub of the Year sign up there to just hide the boxes behind a little bit. Kind of no point having it on the pub anymore because it's not 2019, but I don't want it to go to waste. We've got the mixing paddle and the caustic uh, bundered tank all round here, ready to rock and roll. Got a new apron as well, what do you think to that? Hey, very crafty. Uh, emergency spill kit is now living on top of the fridge. All this lot back in position. All the tanks have been washed. Uh, we've added, instead of just having an extension lead dangling here, I've added a waterproof double outlet so we can plug in the canning line and everything like that. But it's all looking really smart. I tidied the steel and timber rack up, that was a bit dilapidated. What else have we got? Yeah, we've pushed all the space back there so we can soon start to work on the new cold rooms and mezzanine. And there's just a little bit of work to be finished up here for tidying up and what have you. But this is about as tidy as it's going to get, I'm afraid. So let's go and have a look what's happened next door. Throw some rubbish away, gems. So we've had the tent men in today. And as you can see now, we don't have a front or a back on our marquee and it's open to the elements apart from that fence but it's got holes in it I think we'll get away with that what do you reckon it's open this side as well so you know I think we're good to go what do you reckon we need to do a bit of weeding in these mucky old planters so they've been in left us the fairy lights and uh, the top section and taking the front off so we can see the canal. I think it's going to be nice and comfortable anyway. Even if it's going to be a little bit nippy. Fingers crossed next week we're going to see some roaring temperatures. And if they hold out for another month, then we will be lucky people indeed. And we'll be able to take advantage of the weather moving into May when hopefully we can open our indoor setting and start the restaurant back up again. That's what's on the cards. But there we go. That's what we're left with today. And we're ready. There are a few pubs open in town already. Uh, my old place, the Idle Valley Tap, is opened up. It's not a tap anymore, of course. It sells like Boddington's or something. But that's open. Um, Spoons is open, a couple of other places, but we decided to wait until Wednesday. And uh, although we might have had a bit of trade today, I think we've made the right decision. Just let everybody settle into it. Let all the idiots get out and about first and have their belly full of beer before we welcome our more discerning clientele back to the brew shed. So there we are. Boys and girls, I reckon I'm going to bugger off home and enjoy a well-earned pint. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to see you sometime in the brew shed in 2021. Cheers, boys and girls. I'll see you on the next one. Friggin' rats.